Hello, hope you're having a great day. So I wanted to make a video, possibly help anybody out out there trying to um, flash, uh, I believe it's called Tasmoto. Tasmoto. I'll put links to all these proper names inside the description. Um, so this is what they call, let's get this shooter drop piece out of there already. So this, this is a sawn off. Um, and what you want to do is you get one of these. I'll put a link to this one. This is called, I believe, the S20. It names on the back of the deal there. Um, but so you just get this off of like Amazon or something. And uh, the idea is, you know, when they're set up, they're set up at their own company software and they go, you got to use them over the internet to China or something weird like that. Anyway, so if you're getting into home automation, you probably want to keep all this in house. And so this video is just going to be explaining how to um, how I flashed uh, Tasmoda onto the Sonoff, the S20. So what you want to do is order a, a programmer, and I'll put a link to this particular one. Uh, it's, this one is a little bit more money, but it's nice because it's got LEDs on it, so you can tell what it's doing, which ended up turning out to be pretty useful. And the way I did it is I just got an old breadboard I had laying around with some project that I forgot what was on there cleared off a section and it's got the pins there and it's kind of hard to put out and hopefully that'll show up so it plugs nice into the breadboard you want to make sure you can get to the edge of it and hopefully it plugs it back in the same spot you just plug it in there and then you can run jumpers there's only four wires you have to deal with um, on this and I'll kind of show you this zoom in here should probably put it down so you get that VCC, you, you can research all this out and if you're doing this you probably all know this already. I'm going to put this down so it's not shaking as much. Uh, so you get your VCC, your ground, your transmit, and your receive. And uh, I'll just go right into the big thing and why I'm making this video. Is because on the sawn off when I took it over, you typically need to send your transmit from your programmer to the receive on the sawn off and also the receive on the programmer to the transmit on the sawn off but here see the VCC on the left there um, they etched this wrong the text and the R, the TX and the RX are backwards and I could not for the life of me figure out what was going on I kept trying to update my software I couldn't figure out why it wasn't flashing um, and I'll see if I can re replicate the error message. So the way you do this is uh, you just match the VCC from this wire to the VCC of that, the ground from this to the ground of that. And on this setup, for whatever reason, and I'll try to show the error message you'll get if they did this to you, you just make the TX go the TX and the RX go the RX, which is backwards from industry standards. Um, so that was, was the reason why I'm mainly making this video. So let me show you the next thing after you get your hardware you'll need some software you just go to the Tasmodo um, site and uh, I would just recommend starting off with the sonoff.bin file and I'll put a link to that um, but you want to go get the tool called ESP tool and if you're using Mint Linux let me show you hold on there hopefully this kind of shows up on screen there um, you just go to your start menu Go to your software tools. System's pretty old. So there it goes. And then up inside the search spot, just put in ESP and then tools. Might not even have to type it all out. Yeah, so I got there it is right there. Just install that and and you're good to go. I like to run it from command line. And uh, at the ESP website, which I'll put a link in it, it tells you the commands to flash that stuff. So I installed this, I tried to run it, and it didn't work. And uh, I kept thinking it was maybe my ESP tool was out of date, so I started putting on new versions of Python and manually compiling the ESP tool and stuff like that. You don't have to do any of that. This should work right out of the box. Um, Okay, so if you set up everything and you run the Flash program to install um, 
the sawn off bin file on there and you get this weird like Morse code looking stuff on there and then it'll say something like uh, this one says a fiddle error occurred failed to connect to whatever device uh, timeout waiting for packet header that means probably your TX and your RX are backwards here's something else I kind of forgot to mention if your button ever falls off here's what it looks like so you can put it back on um, it, it just comes on and off but mine seems to stay on pretty well um, the way these tabs are and they clip into this you just take the screw there's only one screw in here and then my recommend if you work on you can order these like a cell phone repair kit I'd recommend using something like that to kind of help pry this off but you got to get in there and pry it try not to break these tabs but um, you kind of would have to get in there and just work a way around and get the top to kind of like push in a little bit and it'll pop off um, it's just kind of tricky but that's what's holding it on it's just clipped in there and you can kind of see how it's got those little tabs there so you just don't want to break any of that off again this something like this would work real good I just used like a big wide it wasn't a screwdriver but it looked like a screwdriver um, but this would be a better tool to use and get right in there and pop those off anyways hope that helps out so just the last thing I want to point out is uh, the way you put it in flash mode is you just hold the little button down right there and you'll have all your wires up except for your VCC back off so I can use my fingers a little better so all the wires will be hooked up your ground your TXRX and like I said on mine the stenciling's backwards so you just hold the um, hold down the power button and just uh, when you touch the VCC you can just let go and that will put this in the programming mode um, and then the whole thing will, should work I was so worried that I wasn't doing any of this correct like maybe I wasn't timing it right it's actually pretty easy uh, once I figured out that those stencils were backwards so I hope this makes sense um, the only other thing that was kind of tricky is when you get done um, you just when you plug the, when you're all done and you're ready to look for the device on your network um, when you plug it into your wall socket there and you got power going to it uh, I recommend you put the case on it I didn't but kind of live on a dangerous side there um, you just push this button four times and again I recommend you put the case all back together and uh, do it with it to protect yourself so you push that four times and that'll put it in I guess it's called pairing mode or whatever then you just open up like a, a cell phone and look for a access point and you'll see you'll see this device and then you connect to it just like it was an access point and from there you can just read the docs anyways uh, hope this makes sense it probably makes sense to somebody who's out there having a hard time doing this um, and to reiterate kind of the key to all this was if you're getting a packet header timeout um, there's a good chance and you're working on a sound off that they have the step selling backwards on the on the board anyways I hope this helps you out and again I'll try to put links to everything in the description if you have a question just leave it in the comment and I'll try to try to answer that for you thanks for watching